Hey, you smart kiddos, are you ready for some math time? The first part of this math lesson that you're watching on the video is mostly just me doing some teaching. Um, I'll have my screen on, you can kind of see, so you can just kind of watch and follow along. Um, and then on the next page in Seesaw, then you'll have some work to do too. You can always go back and rewatch this if you need to. Um, so let's get started and check it out. What we're going to be talking about today, and I might as well just put this in full screen so you can see better, is making sure that we know our numbers one through 10, and especially groups of five and more. First of all, let's just count through these together. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what I want you to notice are these little groups up here. Do you see that? The little groups are super helpful to understand um, five and more. So we have a like six is really five and one more. Seven is five and two more and so forth. So we're going to practice some of those things together. Now, I don't know if you ever played with stair steps last year in kindergarten. But in first grade, we use stair steps sometimes. And I'll just tell you right now, these stair steps, are they are not in order at all. In fact, if I take the first one, and then the second one, and then the third one, and I start putting them in order, you can kind of see that I can build a stair step. I've got mine going upside down. Let me show you one that's already done. Hey, that's much better. So I've got number one, and what's one more than one? Well, it's two. What's one more than two? Well, it's three. What's three and one more? Well, it's four. What's one more than four? It's five. One more than five is six. One more than six is seven. One more is eight. One more is nine, and one more than nine is 10. Kind of like saying 9 plus 1 is 10. Well, you may have known that already, but basically every time you add 1, it's just like counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can go the other way too. Like 1 less than 10. Well, if here's 10, if I take 1 away, 1 less than 10 is 9. One less than nine is eight. One less than eight is seven. One less than seven is six. Hopefully you're getting it in your head. One less than six is five. One less than five is four. One less than four is three. One less than three is two. And one less than two, well, that's one. Think about this. What's one less than one? <laughs> well, there's nothing on top of that. So, you know, I don't know if you know this, but the number for nothing, if we wanted to talk about what's nothing, that is the number zero. Trying to make it so I can draw in there, but I can't. Anyway, now I want to show you a little bit more work with stair steps. If we just stop at the number five, right? If we have a number five and we start adding from there, instead of adding our one more over here, like the stair steps on the other page, it's smart to add that one more right underneath it like this. And the, and the reason for that is because of your fingers. Five and one is six. Well, take a look at your fingers. In fact, Hold up your fingers. I'm going to slide over to this screen. I've got five here, right? Our bodies are made with five fingers. Five and one is six. Well, what's five and two? Well, maybe you know that. Five and two is seven. Let's look at that with the stair steps. If I move this one out of the way and I grab the number two instead, five and two is seven. 
Now here is something that's really good for you to see. Trying to get my pen to work, but it's not wanting to work. Oh, there, that's why. <laughs> here we go, five and two is seven, but notice these three right here are missing. And this is a really powerful thing in math. If you know that seven needs three more to get to 10, well, then you are doing really well and you're in really good shape. That is how to think like a first grader in math. Let me show you that again in with the number three. Five and three is eight, right? You have five, six, seven, eight. But think about this. How many more does eight need to get to 10? Well, it needs this one. And it needs this one. So it's like we're missing two. So that means to get to 10, eight needs those two more to get to 10. This is also something you can do with your fingers. Let me get rid of that a minute. And I want to go back to my fingers a minute. Put my fingers back under here for eight. I have five and three. Well, that makes eight, right? So, you know, maybe your big sister or big brother says, well, how old are you? And they hold up this. You really don't need to count their fingers, do you? You can think of it as five and three more is eight. Sometimes I might go five, six, seven, eight, like that, count on. But what's interesting is how many fingers do I have left? Well, I have these two hiding under here, right? So I know that eight needs one, two more to get my 10 fingers. Math makes sense. Math makes sense. Math is so cool that way. Once you kind of understand how the numbers fit together in groups of fives and in groups of tens, you're really going to take off. Let's just finish this one off. The next one we would have is five on the top and four. Well, five and four. Well, that's nine, and there's only one missing. Nine needs one more to make 10. And then last, we have five and five. And of course, most kids know five and five makes 10, just like your fingers. Five and five is 10 if you hold your fingers up, okay? Now, I already kind of showed on your fingers how that works. Normally, this would be the time where we would get our math books out. We don't have our math books yet. So um, the independent activity I have for you is in Seesaw. Before we do that, yeah, let's skip Puzzle Penguin. I think we're gonna skip Puzzle Penguin. The activity that you're gonna be doing on your own is in Seesaw. Those are gonna be on pages two, three, four, and five. Um, you can go ahead and do those now. Great job, everybody.